I am Mike Santora, Associate Editor for Design World Magazine and Make Parts Fast. And today I am here at the Rapid Show with Matteo Pekic. Matteo is the inventor of the technology you see behind us. Matteo, thank you for being with us. Thanks, Mike. Okay, so we were speaking earlier and you had said that one of the, the key features of this product is the automated part release. Yes. What is that and how is that going to affect the industry? So currently the way 3D printers work is everything's pretty much automated up to a point where you can send the file, you can have the printer start, all the printing is automated, except once the part is done, what happens is somebody has to go over and scrape the part off because you have to have good bed adhesion for the part to come out well. What we've done is we've automated this sort of sticking point in 3D printer automation. The part release is completely automated and what that lets us do is now run parts in sequence without any person having to come in, interfere with the printer in any way. So basically we've taken 3D printing, automated it end to end from part all the way to long fabrication runs. All you have to do is pick up the parts at the end of the day. Now, that was the first part of the equation, correct? Yes, yeah. Now after that, uh, it went on to the, the software that automates this process. Can right. you tell me about the, the software? Sure. Basically, once you've got this automation, it's possible to scale up 3D printing to thousands of machines without having to worry about how you're going to supply all the labor required to scrape parts off because we've eliminated that step completely. After I realized this, I started looking ahead into what would a production system comprised solely of 3D printers look like? Because You've seen all the benefits that 3D printing has had for prototyping. Now let's extend those benefits to thousands or hundreds of thousands or even millions of parts over the course of the year. Now I understand that you're a fairly new company, but is there any way you could give us a, a timeline or a time frame on when you might see that coming to fruition? Sure. So the QPod is our implementation of the real base technology, which is the part removal and the software mm -hmm. that we're making available almost immediately to people who really want to start using 3D printing for mass production. So we're looking at shipping the first of these pre-production units in July, so in a couple months. And then in January of 2020, we'll open the QPod up to full release and then partner with an OEM of 3D printers, have this tech licensed and built directly into their printers because we don't want to compete with them in hardware. We, we want to have a cooperative relationship where this is simply another feature you would get in a 3D printer rather than trying to reinvent the printer from the ground up. Fascinating. Yeah. Well, it sounds like something that everybody's going to want to keep their eye on. Mateo, can you tell everybody where they can find out more about the company online? Sure. So our website is 3dq.com. On our website, you'll find more information about the QPods and also QSuite, our software. We'll be publishing white papers on what does the cost of production with 3D printing look like at a mass scale compared to stuff like injection molding. And then also reports about now that you can manufacture in-house so easily, what does that reduce supply chain? How does that impact your production cycle? Fascinating. Yeah. Well, Mateo, thank you so much for your time. Thank and you so much, And of course, much, for Mike. more videos like this, you can go to designworldonline.com.